good morning my dear students i welcome you all for this uh, course computer organization and architecture the course code is 18ec35 so i am so prakash going to handle this subject for the semester so we will discuss about few learning objectives and course outcome of this particular course and we will start the uh, syllabus let's see about the learning objectives we are going to discuss about uh, five learning objectives and we are going to gather the information regarding the particular course let's see one by one the first learning objective is nothing but uh, after completion of this course uh, we are going to understand about the basic subsystems of a computer how the computer is going to be organized and how it is structured and we are going to study about the particular operation of the individual uh, subsystems and uh, we are going to discuss about the concepts of a program as a sequence of machine instructions and meanwhile we are going to demonstrate we are going to uh, wear about some demonstration of different ways of communication with io devices and we are going to discuss about the memory system virtual memory as well as the hierarchy of the uh, memories we are going to discuss and uh, finally we are going to land with a simple uh, pipelining processor and other computing systems so these are the learning objectives we are going to discuss in this particular course discuss about the course outcome of this particular course so as per the university guidelines uh, i formulated uh, five outcomes for this particular course describe and analyze the basic uh, functional units of a computer and its performance also machine instruction programs the first ceo understand the different addressing modes and additional instructions the second ceo explain different ways of accessing an input output device including interrupts third ceo and the fourth one illustrate the organization of different types of semiconductor memories and secondary storage memories the fourth one and the fifth one illustrate simple processor organizations uh, based on uh, hard wire control and uh, microprogram controls these are the five ceos we are going to gather from this particular course let's see about the introduction about the particular module let's discuss what is a computer a computer is a machine for high end computation uh, an extended size of a calculator it can be analog if it is processed data in the form of analog signals and digital if processes data in a form of digital signal uh, why to use computer in general a computer is used in a business organizations uh, for the purpose of uh, payroll calculations uh, budgeting uh, finance forecasting uh, weather forecasting managing employee database maintenance of a stock sales analysis etc 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 so these are the main use of a computer uh, for example in the kind in the in the field of r engineering college uh, actually the computers are going to get used to do the software programming to uh make the hardware working i mean while to maintain the database of the students attendance entries ia marks all those things and all and in general if you going to see about that in a generally we can store some informations over there we can record some kind of informations is just in a computer so these are the uh, main purpose or use of a computer uh, let's see about uh, the study of digital computer has been carried out various ways with uh, different perspectives or analysis uh, so this uh, analysis is going to be dealt in different ways in two different ways as a computer architecture and a computer organization let us see about computer organization uh, which refers to the operational units and their interconnections uh, that realizes the architectural specification uh, organizational attributes includes those hardware details Uh, transparent to the programmer uh, such as control signals uh, interface between the computer and peripherals and the memory technology used and peripherals and the memory technology which is going to be used over there example uh, two different models from a same vendor like uh, intel are brought to analysis both the models uh, laptop and desktop take this example so both have the same uh, processor like core uh, core uh, i3 uh, that means both model understand the same instruction set as you know each processor understands a fixed number of instruction 
Henceforth, the architecture is same, but due to the placement of various hardware components, one model is going to be called as a laptop that is going to be a very slim, and the other is bulky. That's nothing but desktop. Hence, their organization is going to be different. Okay, let's see about the second one: computer architecture. Uh, most uh, mostly, it refers to the attributes of a system visible to a programmer, or those attributes that have a direct impact on logical execution of a program. Uh, example: If you are going to see that uh, instruction set designing, uh, instruction formats, number of bits used to represent uh, various types of data, a uh, different addressing mechanism to access those data. These are the examples which are going to be get present over there for the. particular computer architecture so this is the difference between an organization and the architecture in generally computer organization which is going to refers the operational units and the interconnections whereas architecture which is going to deal about the attributes of the system okay let us see about the brief history of a computers so as we are aware about that uh, there are uh, various uh, generations are going to be there let's discuss about few over here the first generation everyone aware about that uh, vacuum tubes so which are going to be uh, uh, seen over there in this particular i think this is a vacuum tubes has been used over there uh, during 1945 uh, later in 1962 the second generation has been evolu uh, evolution has been taken uh, in the form of transistors and the third generation in 1980s which have been entered into integrated circuits uh, ics that's going to be in the form of uh, ibm pcs intel 8080 such things are going to be there and later nowadays we are going to use a later generations we have been made use of uh, semiconductor memories which is going to be called as very large uh, very large scale integration as well as a technology have been implemented cmos we have been so present which is going to be i3 i5 i7 like that we are going to be growing in the particular uh field of computer generation let's see about the computer types a computer can be classified or defined as a, a fast electronic calculating machine that accepts the data uh, that nothing but digitized input information process it has per the list of internally stored instructions and procedures the resulting informations are going to be list of instructions are called programs uh, internal storage is going to be called as computer memory okay let's see about the computers are going to be get classified into various categories as given below let's see one by one micro computer a laptop computer workstation super computer mainframe computer hand held computers and multi core computers let us see one by one the first one we are going to discuss about micro computer what actually a micro computer is a personal computer generally we are going to use that one isn't it a personal computer which is designed to meet the computer needs of an individual uh, which provides access to an a wide variety of computation applications such as a word processing a photo editing e sending emails and use of usage of web nothing but internet those are going to be called as uh, micro computers or desktop computers let's see the next second one laptop computer what actually a laptop computer is a portable and compact computer that can run on power supply or a battery unit all components are integrated as one compact unit uh, it is generally more expensive than a uh, comparably a desktop uh, it's also called as notebook electronic notebook third one workstation what actually a workstation is a powerful desktop computer designed for specialized tasks generally which has been used for the task that requires a lot of processing speed uh, which can also be an ordinary personal computer attached to a lan local area network the such things are going to be called as workstation the fourth one is going to be called as supercomputer what actually a supercomputer is a computer that is considered to be fastest in the world use it to execute task that would take lot of time for other computers for example a modeling uh, a weather system or a, a genome the sequence etc such computers are going to be called as supercomputers the fourth one fifth one is going to be called as mainframe what actually a mainframe is a large expensive computer capable of simultaneously processing data of hundreds or thousands of users use it to store manage and process large amount of data that need to be reliable secure and 
centralized. Such computers are going to be called as mainframe computers. The sixth one is going to be called as handheld. What actually handheld? I hope that you people may come across when we are going to travel in a bus, when you are going to enter into a mall, when you are going to pay a bill, we are going to get some in the petrol banks, in the kind of uh, uh, taking tickets or, uh, or, or, or purchasing some kind of uh, goods from a shop. There we, are, we can see this handheld computer. It is also called as a personal digital assistance. A computer that fits into your pocket, uh, runs on batteries and is used uh, while holding the unit in your hand. Uh, so typically used as an appointment book or address book or calculator or a notepad. Such kind of things, such a kind of computer is going to be called as handheld computer. The last one, the seventh one is going to be called as multi-core. What do we mean by multi-core computer? Uh, this multi-core computer have multiple cores are there. A parallel computing platform. Many cores or computing uh, elements in a single chip. Uh, typically, for example, Sony PlayStation Core 2 Do, i3, i5, i7, etc. are going to be called as multi-core uh, computers. These are the seven types of computers which are going to be present over there. This is going to be called as the basic uh, parts of a computer which has been shown in this figure a main uh, cabinet which cab in the inside the cabinet we're going to have a motherboard motherboard consisting of a processor uh, ram memories an optical driver for uh, to write the content in a cd hard disk to store the data heat sink to cool the particular hard disk and the motherboard processor floppy drive a system fan, a power supply cables and a power supply says unit SMPS. So all are called as parts of computers. This is the main thing, a motherboard. I hope that you student make aware about this motherboard. So these are the slots which have been provided over there to install or to increase the uh, RAM size, memory size. And this is called as a processor. So a fan which is going to be present over here. And some slots have been provided over there for the interfacing units and the main thing this is going to be called as motherboard. 